Hello and welcome back. I am so proud of all of you that are committing to watching these, that are liking, that are subscribing, that are interacting. I love it. And I would really love for you guys to keep commenting on your own journeys. Tell me successes, tell me failures, tell me every single time that you've stepped outside of your comfort zone, that you've taken a risk, that you've talked to someone in Spanish as shaky as your Spanish is, and you've really given it a shot. Those are the stories I want to hear. And as you keep growing every single week, there probably will be more opportunities to utilize your Spanish. And that is really what I want to hear. So tip one is the very biggest thing, and that is immerse yourself in el español. Y eso no quiere decir que tengan, tengan que ir a otro país a vivir. You do not have to go to another country in order to immerse yourself. We have such a gift in technology these days. We have the news in Spanish. We have movies in Spanish. We have TV shows in Spanish. We have telenovelas in Spanish. We have todito, todo lo que podamos imaginar es en español. We can choose from practically anything. And the more you immerse yourself, the more Spanish becomes part of your day-to-day -day life, the more you're going to acquire it without even intentionally trying. For example, do you have a Facebook? Put it in Spanish. So all of a sudden you see things like publicar, um, al saber, <laughs> mensajes, <laughs> lo que sea. Facebook, all of a sudden you're like, oh, I don't, I don't know what start is. Oh, iniciar. Right there it is because I'm used to using it. If you have Instagram, if you have Snapchat, your phone itself. So then you're looking for mensajes. The only trouble is settings and all of the kind of unknowns. <laughs> But you'll see sonidos. And each one has a cute little icon that will help you if you ever get confused or discouraged. All of that and the more you immerse yourself, even taking maybe your favorite movie that you've already memorized, that you could already repeat backwards and forwards, taking that and watching it, no subtitles, no English help, and you just watch that fully in Spanish, the more you're going to start to acquire vocabulary, accents, ways of manejando el idioma, things that you wouldn't even think about, you're going to slowly start to get. Same thing with songs. There's so many songs out there, and there's kind of two types of ways. There's a lot of songs that have been already translated a lot of pop songs, in fact, that have been translated into Spanish. I used to use them all of the time when I was teaching Spanish because one, they're awesome and super fun. And two, it's usually a really well-known song, like a Taylor Swift song or a, the Wrecking Ball song we used to always sing. I don't even know who sings it, but my students loved it because it's super catchy. It's super fun. There's even authentically in Spanish songs and they're super popular ones. We would always learn Bailando by Enrique Iglesias, which is an awesome song. And my students are starting to comprehend little by little without even really knowing it. They're just having fun. But you can start to kind of catch different words and different vocabulary that you might not simply from studying a textbook. So immersion and full immersion is the best, best, best way to acquire Spanish, to acquire any language for that matter. When I was in high school, I used to go home and watch the news in Spanish. I would get the pictures so I could kind of figure out what was going on and I could watch news from Chile, I could watch news from Mexico, I could watch news from Argentina, I could watch news from Spain and hear all of the different accents and really start to comprehend maybe little colloquial phrases here and there, as well as the way each of them navigate their language in a beautiful way. That is the best. And on the flip side, so that's just interpretation. What about using Spanish? That's the other thing that is huge. And this is one of my biggest, biggest, biggest things. If you learn nothing from any of these videos, listen to this. And that is full Espanol. Solamente Espanol cuando hables. Only Spanish. Only Spanish. And that is the only way that you're going to truly master the language. All of our pitfalls come when we try to go from meaning to English to Spanish because that is so much work for our brains. What do I mean by that? If I look at this and I think this is a notebook and a notebook in Spanish is un cuaderno. So when I look at this, I say, 
okay, this is a notebook, which is un cuaderno. That is so much work for my brain. If I can eliminate the English and just get rid of it and instead do a full immersion Spanish brain, where I look at this and I say, oh, es un cuaderno, ese es un cuaderno. Y eso yo sé porque no voy a usar el inglés. And the more I can eliminate English, I would have a lot of students who would say, okay, how do I say I tossed a baseball in the lake on top? And like, Whoa, you might just know I threw, you might know little by little. You cannot think of what you want to say in English and translate into Spanish. You say, what do I know in Spanish and how can I communicate my meaning and how can I communicate my message utilizing the Spanish that I know? Even circumventing words. That's another amazing strategy. I'm going to give you all my strategies today. <laughs> if you watch no other videos, this video will help tremendously. Circumventing words. So for example, if I don't, I don't know what this is. I'm like, I have no idea how to say this, but I really need to ask for one. I'd be like, oh, ustedes tienen esa cosa. I told my students, cosa, thing, la cosita, cosa, is the best word ever because it kind of just fills in the blank when you don't know the word. Uh, la cosa, es que la cosa, it's beautiful. Cosa, C-O-S-A, utilize it. It's amazing. So if I'm like, esa cosa que, que usted puede escribir, donde escribe, dibuja, you're just throwing in every single word you know, doing mimes, mimics, whatever, and they're like, ah, oh, cuaderno, and you're like, yeah, that. Circumventing words, because instead of utilizing your Google dictionary, instead of asking your bilingual friend, instead of just giving up and writing in English, because who knows what the word is anyways, if you really take the time to utilize that Spanish brain and to, in Spanish, circumvent the word, that starts to train your brain to think in Spanish. So then you have your English brain when you talk in English, and then you have your fully immersed Spanish brain when you talk in Spanish. And you're not doing the extra work of flipping in between and trying to translate, which there's a time and a place for translation. But if you really want full immersion and mastery of the Spanish language, you have to start todo en español. Usted tiene que hablar, pensar, even your thoughts, escribir, decir todo en español. You'll have to start truly immersing yourself and making Spanish a part of your daily life. Even find a friend. I had a friend in college, her and I would do every Wednesday, we would only talk in Spanish. And even when I was in Honduras, I had a friend and we said every Wednesday we're only gonna talk in English. Because if you can only utilize that language and you can't switch between, you can't say, ay, como se dice, how do you say it? Oh, it goes, and you can only use that language, you start to circumvent words because you need to use them. You start to really utilize whatever's back there and you're gonna find there's so much more back there. Last video, or our first video, we talked about how much, how long ago we might have learned Spanish and how much is still in there but probably forgotten and we've never used it and we're all rusty and all of that. But the more you start to take those risks, and use only Spanish and circumvent and navigate and immerse yourself with music and television and everything and todo español y solamente español, the more you're going to realize, poco a poco, I do remember that one word, I creo que this word and this word and this conversation, and you're going to start to put together bits and pieces. And before you know it, you're having authentic conversations. So, full immersion is probably the best tip I can give you. However, I'm gonna give you a lot more tips. I'm gonna give you a lot more strategies because I really want you guys to feel confident and I really want you to take those risks in utilizing the Spanish that you know. So in the comments, share your stories. Tell me difficulties, please ask questions. I would love to help you guys through your journey. That's what I'm here for. I am here to serve however I can be helpful. So like and subscribe, please come back next week and please share in your comments all of your stories, all of your successes, failures, risk-taking, everything beautiful that we're gonna experience in these next however many weeks. So have a great day and I will see you next week.